हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एच आर गार्डन फ्रेंड्स समटाइम बैक आई हैव रिपोर्टेड दिस इंग्लिश आई वी एंड हैज शेयर्ड इट्स रिपोर्टिंग वीडियो आल्सो नाउ यू कैन सी हियर टुडे दिस इज ग्रोइंग वेरी वेल it has started producing new leaves and you can see the shoot has become very long and it's looking very very beautiful today i am going to talk about its grow and care english ivy can be grown both indoor and outdoor friends you can see here how beautiful its variegated leaves looks it looks very pretty i cannot justify its look with this camera in real it's looking more beautiful than what you see in the video talking about its sunlight requirement this plants likes to be in a location where it receives bright indirect light if you have grown this plant outdoor keep it in a place where it does not get direct sunlight because direct sunlight of summers burns the leaves of this plant indoor you can place this plant in a area where it receives indirect light and once in a week or a 15 days it's better to take this plant outside where it gets some amount of air and indirect light for better growth during the winter it can be kept in a direct sunlight also in its natural habitat this plant grows on the tree so talking about its soil requirement it's better to grow this plant in a soil which is light and a uh, well draining so if you give a soil which contain more organic matter this plant is growing to grow very well i have used leaf mold garden soil sand and perlite while reporting this plant water before watering check the soil if the top of the soil is dry it's time to water english ib now you can see my soil is dry so i am going to water this plant when i water i just water in that amount that the soil is moist and since my ib is kept outside i miss the leaves also if you have kept this plant outside it loves misting so if you have grown the plant indoor do not miss the plant when you take the plant outside to get the light that time you can miss the leaves of this plant do not overwater this plant it's likes to be in dry side some amount of moisture is very good for english ivy but it does not like soggy soil so make sure that you have used well draining potting mixture and your soil does not stay wet for a long time during the summer and spring season we can feed this plant with a liquid fertilizer i use npk 191919 once in a month in 2 liters of water i use half spoon of npk and spray on this plant do not over fertilize this plant or do not fertilize this plant when it is in stress 
do not fertilize when it is too cold or too hot or when your soil is completely dry during winter you don't need to fertilize this plant time to time you need to prune the plant so that it become bushy and to give a better look to this plant now i am thinking to trim this plant after some time out here so that my plant become bushy and it produce more shoots you can remove the dry and yellow leaves if you see any so that plant is well maintained every time propagation propagation is very easy after trimming this plant do not throw the stem just you can take 3 to 5 inches of stem and place it in a sand or a garden soil or a mixture of sand and a garden soil from there you are going to get new ivy plant english ivy grown in a pot takes a bushy shape after some time so you will see the attack of pest and insect sometime it gets affect with aphids spider mites so if the infestation is very extreme you can remove the infected part by cutting and time to time or once in 15 days we can also spray neem oil to get rid of any insect or a pest this plant also get attacked by the fungus which causes root rot and finally the plants may die friends this is a beautiful vining plant which does not need too much of care and maintenance this is one of the best addition in our gardening collection this is it for today friends take care of yourself keep gardening like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching hr gardening